Joining me now on the program is Kathy Klingler. She's the curator here at the Schistler Museum and the McMunn Planetarium. Great to have you here on the program. This is all here at East Stroudsburg University. Yes. So when you come here to the museum, what exactly would you see here? You're going to see more than 140 species from all over the world. We have an excellent taxidermy collection of species, mostly from North America, but we also have Africa and Europe and Asia. Kathy, how did this museum come about? We had a wonderful donation of all of the specimens in here from two alumni of East Strasburg University, Art and Fanny Schisler. And they graduated in 1962, and they are wildlife lovers and conservationists, and they felt that their collection would be an excellent educational resource for their alma mater. So we were very happy that they were able to donate the specimens, and the museum opened in 2013 to school groups, and we're very happy now that it is open to the general public. This is fabulous in here. What did it take to put this together? It took a lot of effort. <laughs> it took several decades of planning. The original offer from the Schislers came in the 80s, and it has taken almost 30 years for it to come to fruition. Now, you must have gotten some great help to put all this together. This is not an easy thing to do. Yes, we were very fortunate. We had um, excellent exhibit designers and uh, construction people. And the person who did the murals, uh, Michael Rosado, actually worked for the Smithsonian. So we have world-class paintings in here, and the exhibit design itself is something as good as you might find in New York or Chicago. And the faculty assisted with this? Yes, absolutely. This could not have happened without the help of the East Strasburg University faculty. Um, mammals, birds, insects, all of the disciplines were included in putting this together to make sure that it's not just a world-class display, but it's also scientifically accurate. And all of our programs touch on the science and the real-world information that went into the building of the dioramas. Now, when people come here, what would they experience? What can we tell them about? We are very happy to be able to offer not just the museum, but also a planetarium experience. So we have the McMunn Planetarium, and I like to say that's the wide view and the close-up view. You can catch uh, a few films in the planetarium. Uh, we have films that are narrated by such notable people as Liam Neeson, Mark Hamill, um, and then they can come down to the museum and then sort of see the close-up view of the, the animals and the continents and everything that they just saw in the films. So it's a very uh, unique experience because there's nothing else like it in the Poconos Mountains region. And um, we're excited that people can come through, they can get a, a guided tour if they'd like one, or they can come through and explore on their own. We have little field guides in the museum to help them identify the animals. And it's a great experience, not just for families, but for anyone who loves wildlife and conservation. I notice there's a little audio uh, clips here that you mm -hmm. can push a button and listen to some sounds. Yes, we are trying to get more of that into the museum. Um, it's great when you can see the animal, but you can also hear the sound that you would actually hear in nature. And that really just kind of makes it more of an immersive experience. Now, who can visit the museum? Anyone can come. We have bookings for school groups and any tours can come in, scouts, uh, youth organizations, places like that, but you can also come on Saturdays. The general public can come in and browse at their leisure and catch a few planetarium films. Now this is at East Stroudsburg University, yes. right? but it is open to the public. Yes, we are right on the campus of East Stroudsburg, plenty of parking. Um, we have very good uh, directions coming from Route 80. It's very mm -hmm. easy to get on and off and, and to get to campus. And what building is this located in? This is the Hofner Science and Technology Center, and we are at the intersection of Ransbury and Normal Streets on campus. Now, the museum is open in conjunction with the planetarium. Yes. Right. It's one price for the admission to both the museum and the planetarium, and you can come in and spend as much time as you like in both of them, and we show up to five films a day in the planetarium, so right. you can stay all day and see a lot of films. Now, if people want more information about dates, when you're open, the times and all that, where do they find that? They can find that on the website at esu.edu slash museum. We're also on Facebook and Snapchat, and you can find us online.